Here are four signs God often uses when he's warning a woman about a bad relationship with a man. Number one, if the Holy Spirit's personal conviction in your life is overruling your personal desires for this man, that's a good sign God is trying to protect you from a bad relationship. We won't be perfect. We will have many times in life where we sin and thus we need to repent. However, the Bible is clear that if we never follow God in repentance, if we never have a conviction of sin and we're always doing what we want to do and never submitting our wills to God's will and aligning our desires with his desires, that's a sign that we're just not a real Christian. As Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. In love, when a Christian woman is getting presented with a temptation with a man who wants to lead her into sin, the Holy Spirit is going to bring a loving conviction into her life. And he'll do that in multiple ways, but primarily through helping her see what the Bible says and then apply those biblical truths to her life to show her that this is not a God-honoring relationship. And when she has that loving conviction of the Holy Spirit that this is not pleasing to the Lord, that's God warning her about a bad relationship. Number two, God is protecting you from a bad relationship if this man has rejected you because of your Christian morals. A man's rejection is often God's protection. In other words, a lack of interest from a man in you is often a gift from God. Now, it might not seem like that in the moment, you might be hurt and you want to be with this man and so there's a sting in your heart. But if you could zoom out and see the big picture and see all the pain that God is actually sparing you from by stopping this relationship before it even started, you would praise the Lord for this. Now, this is especially clear when a man openly rejects a woman because of her Christian morals. If he says, I don't want to be with you because you're too religious, because you're too uppity, because you're prude, because you won't fall into sin with me, that is clear evidence God is protecting you. In John 15, 18 through 19, Jesus said, if the world hates you, know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, Therefore, the world hates you. Number three, if this man's sinful patterns were triggered in your presence, this is a sign God is warning you about a bad relationship with this man. A hidden sin, well, is hidden and thus it's difficult to see. So one way God will help you with that is by allowing this man to get triggered in an unexplained or unexpected way. So maybe he has a burst of anger and he's not even sorry afterwards, he doesn't repent. Maybe he's all of a sudden pushing for premarital sex in a way that he wasn't doing before, or just some other sin pattern gets exposed all of a sudden that you didn't see because you got into a new situation that brought out this issue. That's God showing you warning signs. Rather, the mark of a godly man prepared to be a good husband is a man who can be humble enough to notice his own imperfections and repent and actually grow with the Lord. 2 Corinthians 3, 17 through 18 explains, Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And we all, with unveiled face, beholding the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another, for this comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. So as we see there, you should see freedom in this man's life from sin, and you should see that freedom being expressed in an ongoing process of transformation where he has not fully arrived in perfection as none of us have, but he is growing with God. And number four, if God is showing you that this is just not a good fit for you, even though this is a good man, this is still God protecting you and warning you about a relationship that would be bad for you. Sometimes you have to accept that a man is godly and he's a good man and he's probably gonna make a good husband one day for somebody, but just not for you. So we have to have this category of a bad relationship versus a bad relationship for you. And 
That means there are matches between two mature Christians who love the Lord and are prepared for marriage, but they just don't make a great team together. So if you have to change core parts of you, or this man has to change core parts of him, your personalities, your desires, your goals in life to be together, then in the long run, you two would be unhappy together. Remember, God wants a husband and wife to fit together. There will be compromise, but when God reveals the right man to you, you will both be free to enjoy each other rather than needing to change each other. If you wanna be a blessing to this ministry and help it keep growing, one of the best ways you can do that is by giving these videos a thumbs up. That helps the YouTube algorithm spread this content to more people who might need to see it. I'm Mark from ApplyGodsWord.com, and I'll see you at the next video. God bless.